Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. I am continuing my baby shower series and this is project number five. I am going to be doing a centerpiece. It is a hot air balloon centerpiece. So let me tell you what the supplies are going to be so we can get to crafting. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, paper lanterns and you can get them anywhere in any color that you want. They are on Amazon. If you are somewhere that you can't uh, get them like at a Target or Walmart or even a Hobby Lobby. These are found in the party goods area of stores. And this is basically what they look like and you can hang them up. They, they open up and you can hang them up anywhere. And uh, this particular one that I got is from Hobby Lobby. It was a regular $7.99, and I think they had the party stuff at 50 off at the time, so I got it for $4. And uh, this has a 16-inch, a 12-inch, and a 10-inch inside of the packet. Okay? Now, I'm also going to be using either some dowel sticks, some wood dowel sticks, or some plastic long straws. So this is what I'm using. These are the ones that you use for balloons. They come with that little bit at the end where you can attach a balloon and then just stick them anywhere and the balloons will be standing on them. So I'm just going to use the straw portion of that. So it's just a plastic piece. You could probably put several straws together and then just wrap them with ribbon and then you won't see where they're attached. But wood dowels would work just fine for this project. Okay, so that's one of the other projects. Uh, the other supplies that we'll need and then we're going to need an assortment of ribbon that's up to you how many ribbons you want to use I'm not necessarily going to use all of this I just pulled it all out to see what I would like to use I'm definitely going to be using some curling ribbon so I've got that and then I've got some hemp uh, rope type of uh, string here you don't have to use this if you want to use some yarns or even some crocheting threads that's fine uh, but maybe you could just use some uh, ribbons I've got some doilies here, uh, just in case I might want to use them. I have them in several sizes, little paper doilies. Uh, again, this is all completely optional. All right, so then I'm going to be using some fabric. So I've got some scrap of fabric right here. Again, you can use uh, anything you want to use. You can use uh, scrapbooking paper, wrapping paper, uh, any type of uh, uh, item that you can use to wrap around a little box. Now, if you you don't have to use a little box, you can use a little basket of sorts for your hot air balloon. I've got this little box that I've had since Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I would have preferred something a little more square, but uh, this is what I have and I really don't feel like having to go shopping. Or maybe a little cute little basket would have been great, but I'm going to use this. So that's why I have the fabric so that I can cover it. I won't need the lid. This was from the Dollar Tree. It only cost me a dollar. So that's what I'm going to use for that. And I've got my hot glue gun ready, hot glue sticks, wire cutters, floral wire, or you can use chenille stamps. And you're going to need some scissors to do some cutting of ribbon and fabric and so forth. Uh, anything else that you might find that you can use to decorate your hot air balloon, uh, pull that out. you got some stickers you want to use, use that. Uh, any little styrofoam shapes that are cut out that you want to decorate it with, go right ahead, laces, things like that. So uh, let's get started on our project. All right, I'm going to start by poofing up my little lantern here. And it's got these wires going around here with little, little bits here, two little kind of like loops right here. And the other side is a little bit smaller and it doesn't have any of that. It's just a little bit of wire and it's pretty much pieces of wire going around it. So we're just going to poof it up like that. Now through the bigger side, uh, we're going to take the insert, this wire insert, and this has like a little bit where you can hook it from, and then it's got the smaller part. The smaller part goes inside, and it actually has these little indentations here at the bottom. See like that little corner, if you can see that. It has like a little indentation right in there. And that's so these edges here can rest right on there. So when you push it in, just rest those and align it so that the wire is going with the loops. That's going to where that's these little indentations is where this little ring is going to rest on. Okay? And then you're going to bring it up gently with the loop through one of these little bits here where it's folded and so forth. And now you have a balloon or a lantern rather that you can hang 
from the ceiling, but we're going to use it to create a hot air balloon. So we're actually going to turn this over, and this is going to be the top of a hot air balloon, and this is going to be hanging down. And this little hook, I'm going to use it to decorate and put some items on there. Okay, so now that we have our balloon uh, set up, I keep saying balloon, but it's a, it's a paper lantern. Now that we have it, and I've chosen the 12 inch. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my little uh, sticks with this curling ribbon. You can use any ribbon if you want to do that or if you have wooden dowels and you want to take them outside and spray paint them, go right ahead or even hand paint them or brush paint them with um, some acrylic paint, go right ahead and do so. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue at one of the tips. Get that ribbon stuck on there to get it going and then I'm just going to twirl it around so the ribbon starts to candy cane and as you can see I'm not having it like right next to each other there's a little separation on there and ever so often just put a little dot of glue on the ribbon so that it stays in place in case you need to put it down and it won't un all unravel on you now you could decide to put the ribbon around them once you decide how long you're going to need these because you may have to trim these so um, you can wrap them afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and do it now while I'm at it because I like to have these things done before and that is why I'm adding little bits of glue here and there as well because depending on where I cut it, it won't have like, you know, like let's say I cut it at a point where it, there's no glue, where it's not glued down. It might unravel but it's not going to unravel all the way. It's just going to unravel a little bit and all I have to do is just wrap it up again and then glue that little end where I've cut it. Okay, so just little bits before I forget. Little bits of glue here and there. That was hardly any glue. Let's get some more on there. There we go. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to melt this ribbon. Okay, so once we get to the end, put some glue at the end of your little stick. All right, and then you can just cut off the ribbon, and there we go. We have a stick that has been covered, it's sort of a candy cane look, and that is what I'm going to do to the rest of these. So I'll have four of these done. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is I want to wrap up this little box with some fabric. I've already used this one on another one, and I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to use this polka dotted one on this one. And you just need little scraps of fabric. Just make sure it's enough to cover whatever little box you have chosen to use. I'm going to cut off this raw edge here. It's going to get folded in, so it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to cut it off just for the heck of it. And I want to make sure that it, if there's enough to go around it and over to the inside of it and it doesn't have to completely cover the inside. I'm just going to trim this little piece because I feel like this whole piece is going to be needed. And for the other side you need this, the same, just like that. Make sure that it wraps on the inside. Now you could just wrap it up to go up to this edge and then you could put something else to cover your little edge. Maybe if you want to put something inside. But that's where my little uh, doily is going to come in to cover the inside. But I want this to go ahead and just go all the way in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, let's make sure that this is more or less centered. Oops, I just moved my table. Okay, that's more or less centered. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue up the edges here on this one and then bring the fabric up and glue it down to that edge and then I'll do the same to the other side. So then now I'm going to do the same to the other side and I pretty much do this where I'm looking at it but because I'm doing it so that you can see what I'm doing, oh, I'm doing a little bit of a backwards thing here. Let me turn it sideways so at least I can see here. 
little bit down this. I don't want to put any like right in the middle because I don't want the glue to show for the fabric, like little bumps of glue. I don't want that. Okay, so now I've got it there. And just to make sure that as it doesn't move too much, I'll put some on the little edge because I am going to put um, little laces on the edge so then that little bump of glue can hide with that. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to want to glue it to the inside and then I'm going to do some little folds like a gift wrapping and then just do that little bit of a bit, little fold. Okay, so now <laughs> I know that doesn't really explain much, but just wrap it up in the best way you can. This is probably uh, a little kind of the harder way to do it the way that I'm doing it. And I don't do any cuts, so it becomes a little bit interesting. So I'm going to put some glue on the inside edge here. And there. I don't want to put any too high up uh, on this top edge because I'm not going to really hide that with anything except for maybe a doily. Okay. I've got fans going, so forgive me for that noise. I know that I have to replace my ceiling fan, but I haven't been able to. So please be patient if you hear the sound coming from that because that's the one that makes all this rickety noise. Okay, so now that I've got that in there, and it's not perfect, but let's put the light on it. Glue that in there and glue this other edge in there. Now we want to do these, so I'm going to bring, I'm going to pull this over, I'm going to bring this one across like that. Let's see, make a nice little point right here. Then bring this one over on top. Pull it. And then you're just going to fold it so that it's all nice and neat. What I am noticing is that it's a little long, so I'm going to trim it. Trim it on the end. I'll, I'll check the other one once I get to it, but it's probably going to be the same thing that I'm going to have to trim. Okay. So I have folded it in like you would a gift wrapping. And so things won't move on me. I'll put some glue. And then some glue on the inside. There we go. That looks good. I'm going to move these sticks over to the other side. Okay. And then just pull this one over. Make sure this is folded inward nice. Push it all the way in. That looks good. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Get that little triangle down. A little bit of glue here. And then some glue on this flap. Right now that I've glued that in there and I've got my little triangle, I can now put some glue and bring that up. And then all I have to do now is just tuck in some glue right on the very edge to smooth it down. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. side. I spent all night last night doing one to see how I preferred uh, this to look. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
just like a gift. And then we'll do the other side. Once that's ready, we were going to take our dowels and we're going to glue them in to the inside corners of our box. So we want to put plenty of glue and get those on there. I'll do one right now. A little dab of glue on the floor where the stick is going to be resting. Make sure that fabric that's there is glued down really well. So I'm just putting tons of glue, okay? And rest it right there, right on the inside. And I just angle it a tiny little bit. It's maybe, I'm going to say about quarter inch to half an inch away from both sides. So it's angled in there. It's trying to turn this so the best light so you can see that. I don't know if you can tell in there. That it's not, that little bottom edge is not in the corner, but it's coming out a little bit about a half inch away from here and about a half inch away from here. And that's the way that I'll do all of them once I get this fabric done on the other side. I'll do that. I'll wrap these up and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got to my box wrapped up like I said I would and then I've added the dowels on the inside of the box. Now these don't have to come out, uh, half, you know, that's a quarter, about a quarter inch out of your uh, the bottom of your little box that happens to be the measurement be because of the size of the box that I'm using okay so yours may not be a quarter inch coming out I'm just angling it a little bit uh, it, it may you can put them in straight up because I'm using these little straws they're a little bit flexible now if you use the thin dowel rods they may be a little bit flexible too so just keep that in mind of uh, what you decide to use okay so I'm going to take my lantern and I think the reason I was calling it a balloon is because it's becoming a balloon. So now I'm just going to hold it up here and decide, you know, how high do I want this to be? I'm not going to worry about how these are going out because I can push them in a little bit. Uh, I think I like it about this height. So I'm going to go about halfway up the lantern and I'm just going to hold it right there with my finger. And that is where I'm going to trim. Now all I want to make sure is that the ribbon is glued down and I happen to cut it at a spot in this particular one where it is already glued down so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to use the same piece and use it over on this side here and here to cut all the sticks so that they'll all be about the same height. This one I do need to use a little bit of glue to glue down that end of that ribbon. There we go. Use a little stick here. Now, my basket, um, kind of like this one for the front. It doesn't really matter because I'm actually, I like this other side better. <laughs> Just pick a side that you like for your front or if all your sides are nice and you want to use this as a centerpiece in the middle of a table, then just make sure all your little uh, sides are really nice and uh, they don't have any little, you know, just make sure you wrap it up nicely. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, probably on my mantle or if not I'm going to put it on the serving table that I'm going to have but I think that's going to be up against the wall so um, for now I'll just pretend like it is a centerpiece and we'll get seen from everywhere but I do like this side better for the front okay so now what I want to do is I want to glue these dowels to my balloon and like I said I was going to be right at about the center so I need to just kind of bring this so I can look at it sideways and the balloons have these little sections on them. As you can see, the lanterns have the sections on them. So I'm going to decide that I'm going to center that right between these two sticks on the side. And that's where I'm going to glue it. The best way that I found to do this is if I laid it down and then had the ends of these sticks kind of coming out so that I could kind of rest it on top as I glued it because it was easier for me to just do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue the sticks down as you know as I have it on its side so what I'm going to do is on one of them not on both of them I'm just watching it so it doesn't roll over I'm going to put glue and I'm going to make sure that I get make sure that I get it on the plastic part of the, uh, the straw rather than on the well it's on the ribbon too but I want to make sure that it is on the plastic part okay so I'm going to do one side and I've got my little fan right here 
going so it'll fit that right there. And then I'm going to do the other straw on the other side now that I can see what I'm doing. Put some glue here. That's my husband. <laughs> okay. Hold it there. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it and make sure these two are dry. And once these are dry, I can actually just glue these down right here where I'm looking at them rather than turning it around. I can see from the inside that they're, it's not really centered, my lines, but they're close enough. It's best not to worry about that. Okay, once that's dry, I'm going to do these two sides and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back a couple of hours later and uh, this has been uh, glued on, <clears throat> as you can see there, on the little sticks and you can see where the hot air balloon shape is now taking its place. So what we want to do now is we want to decorate it and you can do this however you want. Use ribbons, I'm going to use some of this twine. I've also got uh, some uh, little things on the side over there that I want to put in here and I've got a doily also that I want to rest in here. So I'm going to start by <clears throat> putting this twine. Um, I'm going to go from straw to straw and I'm going to go kind of in a circle upward, okay? That's what I'm going to do all the way around. I'm going to start on the side. And I'm going to put kind of halfway and then um, I'll continue with more. Okay, so I'm going around like that and then back down here. So I'm doing just adding more glue and then gluing it down. And then I'll continue on to the other side as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done it all the way around as you can see here. And now I'm going to take this uh, thinner twine. I could probably use the same thick one and maybe give it a better. Let's see. I think I'm going to use the thicker one. <laughs> I used the thinner one on the other one. So, kind of. Okay, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put twine from here all the way up to this little edge here from each from each of these uh, straws and I'm going to use this thicker one and I'll be back. Okay, so the next step was to start with this thinner twine and following the curve of this thicker one that I put down first, I'm going to glue that down. And I've done it here, here, and here. And as you can see, I've got the continuous string. So now I've got to do it here. Okay, so let's put that twine on there. There we go, just like that. And then just press it down and trim. Okay, so I've done that pattern all the way around. And now I'm going to go from here and here upward. The same on the sides and on the back. Just realized I have some mayonnaise on me. <laughs> okay, I think in the front one here, I'm going to do one right in the middle and then do, let's put that on there first and I'll show you. Okay, and I'll turn that off. <clears throat> so put one right in the middle, as you can see there. So then now I'm going to do put one here and then one here. And I'll do the same in the very back. 
Okay, so I finished doing all the string work that I wanted to do at the top to give it that look like it has a little net holding it down. And now I just want to decorate it with all kinds of ribbons. And I'm going to go ahead and start here at the bottom of the, on the box. And I've chosen to use um, this gray acetate ribbon. And I'm going to put this right on the very top edge here. And then I'm going to add this white one that has this uh, little kind of, what is that look? I get lattice look. Put that right on top of the gray. And then of course, right there. So I want to give it that look. And I'm going to add some more ribbons here and there. And I want to put some little bows hanging off of here. So I'm going to come back and um, you'll see it a little more decorated. And I'll just show you what I've, what I've done rather than every little step because you can do this any way you want. I just wanted to show you this little technique here so that maybe you want to try that. You don't have to use a little rope. You could use um, uh, ribbons for this, just something thin, or maybe even use a yarn if you wanted to do that. Okay, so I'm going to continue decorating it and I will be back. Okay, so the next thing I want to create, I want to show you here where I finished putting that on there. Uh, the next thing I want to create is do like a little garland, a little banner. So I'm getting little pieces of ribbon like these. And any ribbon that you want to use. Uh, this one, for example, is almost like an inch wide ribbon. And I'm cutting them about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, almost an inch and a half long. And then I'm just cutting little dovetails on them. Let me separate these two. I don't know why I can't. There we go. But they have the little dovetail cut on them, just like that. Uh, if you prefer, you could cut them in the little triangle. Let me cut up this one. So then you would just cut down, not from the very top, but go down, I would say about quarter inch, and then cut down to the middle. And then again from the middle up to that about quarter inch before you get to the end. You cut this shape right here. You could do that instead of this shape. And then we're going to put them all, not in this ribbon, I think I'm going to use this one right here, this little thin ribbon. This is an 8 inch width or wide ribbon. And I want to put that on these, but not on this one. I'm going to alternate the one with these, like a chevron. This has like a chevron pattern to it, if you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to alternate that and this blue one, and I'm gonna separate them quite a bit. I'm not gonna have them too close because then I have to make a whole bunch. So I wanna make some little banners like this and I wanna have them kind of like coming coming down the front like that maybe, maybe halfway from the, from the top edge of the balloon up here, crisscrossing them maybe halfway right here. So I wanna have one of those, maybe the front, maybe one on the back. So that's what I wanna do. So what I wanna do is so I'm gonna put this ribbon in the form that I want it on my uh, hot air balloon first and then I can see where uh, I can place these along the banner, along the ribbon to create that banner and then I'll know how many of these I need to cut. So I've gone ahead and I've cut these little pieces of fabric and they were like little rectangular, let's see, how, let's see what size they are because I didn't measure, I just cut. These are seven and a half inches long, but of course you're going to cut them to to fit the dimension of whatever box size or basket you have, okay? Whatever container you use for the bottom. So these are going to be the little sandbags that are going to go here on the sides, okay? That's what that's going to be. But I've gone ahead and I've cut these little pieces there. Again, it's about, what did I say, seven and a half? Yeah, okay, and the widest part uh, was about three and a half. So, you know, that gives you an idea about the size. It's seven and a half by seven, uh, three and a half. And then I folded it in half, but then I also went in a little bit when I cut them. You can see that. So what I'm going to do is I only want to go up to a certain point. I mean, kind of do a little scrunchy bit here because I've already done this already and I'm just going to follow the same steps because that gave me an idea that I have a little, little gathered line right here that kind of gets marked on here. Okay, so then I'm going to put glue from the center where I folded it up to that line on both sides. 
Let me put a little bit more. I've got this little fan going in that dries my glue real quick. Okay, so then just fold it over and put those. So then we don't have to do any sewing, okay? So that's what I did. So then uh, what I did is I got some cotton balls. Let's see, I've got them right here. And I took three cotton balls, and then it just depends on what size you make your little sandbags, okay? How many you might need to fill it in or how full you want to make them. So you just open them up a little bit. Grab a cotton ball. I'm going to push it all the way down to the bottom to one side of my bag and then the other to the other side. So I've got two cotton balls down here at the bottom and I felt like, well, that's not enough. So I went ahead and I grabbed a third one. So you just fill it in with as much as you need. You can use tissue paper, shredded paper, you know, just toilet paper even to fill this up so you don't have to use cotton balls if you don't happen to have any or use you know a fiber fill poly fill okay so then this is what I did then I gathered them and I tied them but then I was looking at them and I decided that I didn't like these little raw edges so what I did is I glued them down okay I glued the little edge down like that and then I glued a little edge down on this side so I'm just showing you what I did already but you could always obviously do this if you want to sew them by hand Turn them so that the right side, when you fold it, are look facing each other. So from the top all the way down, and then on the other side. And once you've sewn those two edges, then you can, you know, flip them, you know, to the other side, and then you'll have a nice sewn edge rather than doing what I'm doing. But this is what I ended up doing, and actually it did turn out bad because you know trial and error. That's how you discover things. And then I'm just going to fold that edge in. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that little end here on the bottom, little corner, you know, make sure that I have it in there, that it's hiding. So when I look at it from this side, you don't really see it. Over this one, I can. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, glue it down so that I can't see it. And just glue it upward and out of the way. There we go. A little more glue. Get these little edges in there. Okay, I'm going to do the other side now. And then you just take some little ribbon and tie up the open end. Let me get a little more glue down here in this little corner. Make sure that's hiding. Like so. Okay, and... I'm going to use this ribbon here. I just cut a short little piece, and I also used some of this one when I did the other one. Cut another piece. Okay. And you're going to take it. This is the back now because you fold this, folded this over, so just turn it around so we can look at it, and then just gather it like that. Take your two pieces of ribbon, or one at a time, however you want to do it, and at the front of the little bag, you're going to tie it up and then give it a knot, okay? Give it a knot. There we go. My son's here. I'm so happy. Uh, my younger son is here from California. Okay, and then we're just going to trim the little edges. So this is why I got started really late today because, you know, I spent the morning with him and he's been coming in here watching me do things as I'm doing his projects, all these little baby shower things that I'm doing for his, his older brother, actually. And, uh, well, he's not going to be here for the baby shower. He has to leave, uh, go back to California. He's a Marine, by the way. Both of my, my son's Marines. Well, my older son already served and he's actually teaching now, but my younger son is here and I'm just so happy, so... Can't wait because uh, I've spent the rest of the week with him. But anyway, here's a little baggie. And then what I did is I glued these to the edges here. And then I made a little bow from another ribbon, a little wider ribbon, and I put it in front here. And that's just a simple little bow, and I'll show you that when I'm done. So let me go ahead and uh, finish cutting all my little banner pieces and uh, 
I'll glue my ribbon on, but I think I'll come, I'll come back after I've cut all these out and I'll put the camera so that you can see what I'm doing as I'm gluing those on. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've added the little banner at the back. I don't know if you can see that right here in the back. Um, and I've added it so that when you're looking at it from the front, you're looking at the front of the ribbon rather than if you turn it around, you would see the banner, the little ribbon facing the other way because the, the ribbons only have one side, okay? They have the little design only on one side and the sheen only on one side. But I've gone ahead and put them facing forward because I'm going to use this, as, like I said, on a table. It's going to be on a wall, so you're not going to see the back of it too much. So I don't have to decorate back here, here, but when I have it facing forward, I do want you to see it from the front, and I want you to be able to see this little banner. So I've actually only hung enough of these little flags where they might get seen from the front, and I didn't put an extra one like back right here because um, even though the string is going all the way up here, uh, you're not going to see it when you're looking at it from the front. But if you're going to do it as a centerpiece, then of course put your ribbons where you can see them. Maybe double face them so that you can see them from both sides. That would be a good idea. If you double face the ribbon, and then maybe put another one over on top just to hide those raw edges over on top of that. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job, but I think you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm um, now putting the ribbon, kind of draping it, this little ribbon, draping it in the front. So I put it at the very tippy top over here. And then I'm draping it a little bit. I don't want to drape it too low because I'm going to put some candy in here and I want people to be able to reach in and grab the candy without the little banner uh, being in the way or then possibly you know getting the fingers caught in it or you know tearing it up okay so now I'm just gonna let it dangle just a tiny bit and I'm gonna put some glue right here on the plastic part make sure I get it on the plastic okay now just making sure the ribbon that I've got the same You know, I got the same facing going the same way, and then I'm just going to leave a little bit of length to it. Okay. Okay, here's the ribbon, and it's going coming down right here, and then I've just glued it right there. Can you see that? The little mess that I made right there. I'll just remove that excess glue. It's going to get covered with a little, little bow eventually. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do, and now I'm gonna glue it on these little bits that I've cut here. Here's another one. So I've cut a few, and I'm gonna put them on my little ribbon that's dangling down. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the very edge of the ribbon, and I'm putting it on the front facing of the ribbon, because then I'm gonna glue it from behind so that this little ribbon is coming in front of it. Try not to make a glue mess like I just did. And I'm making a glue mess because I'm not looking at it. <laughs> I'm having an angle where you can see. But look, that's where I just put that one. And then I'm just going to spread out before I put the next one. So I'm just going to choose another one from another color. I might want to do a multiple colored ones if you're doing, um, you know, non-gender specific. Or maybe you're doing a gender reveal. So you don't want to, you might want to do this maybe all in white, maybe with a little bit of gray. Okay, that would look so pretty. Okay, I'm going to continue putting these going upward, but I need to be looking at it. There we go. That's a couple more. I think one more of this color will be enough. So I've added four. If you want to put them closer together, go right ahead. Put them closer together and put a lot more. But that's all I'm going to do. Okay, I think that looks so cute. Can you see that up against you know, the, the chair here? The back and the front. The little banner dangling. 
Okay, so now I want to put some bows here. Like I said, I'm going to continue decorating it. And then I'm also going to put the little sandbags. These are going to go in the front. This is the front, yes. Just making sure I was had to look at it because this is my back. I'm going to put these little sandbags. Now, if you're going to do it as a centerpiece, make yourself four sandbags and put them at every corner. But I'm just doing uh, the, the front view. So I'm just putting two in the front right there. Put a little bow on there as well. And I want to take a doily. Nice big one. I think that's the size that I used on that other one. Yeah, okay, this is... They're not separated. <laughs> Let me see if I can find one that is. Yeah, here we go. There's two of them. It almost feels like that's it, but then, nope, there's two. Okay, so what I did is I put that inside of the box, and I put the pretty side upwards so that you can see it. Oh, no, actually, no. What I did is I put the pretty side downward so that when you poke it in, you're not going to see this because you're going to fill it with some candy or, or whatever you want to fill it in with. But then this little edge is going to poke out the front, so I want to be able to see that pretty side. And it has a little bit of a, of a texture. Let me come around and show you. I could probably just get my phone and do a close-up. But it has a little bit of a texture, if you can see that there. And if I turn it around, the textures, obviously this is the back. And this is the front, so when I tuck it into my box, I want this nice texture part peeking out the top edge. Okay, all right. So that's what I'm gonna do with the doily. And I'm gonna continue decorating, I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished putting little bows on my little air balloon. I've got some curling ribbon coming down here from the middle, from the metal piece, little wire piece that was down here which I had told you if that was turned the other way around, that was for where you could hang it from, but I turned it around so that I would have the smaller hole up at the top. I didn't cover this up. I could probably put uh, some of this rope on the edge here and finish that off, but I put the little sandbags on there with little bows on there. I love this little banner coming across, but I especially love this particular uh, net look at the very top. So that's what this looks like, and I put some paper shred right inside of there. You can do that if you want. And then, of course, you could take some candies. These are some little pillow mints, and each little packet says it's a boy. I got these at Hobby Lobby, but they do have them on Amazon, and they're pretty much the same price for the same amount, except that uh, at Hobby Lobby, I used a coupon to get 40% off of them. Okay, so that's that, and I told you that I had made others. So this was a 12 inch uh, paper lantern that I used for this particular project. But I also used the 16 inch. <laughs> I want you to see. There we go. And I almost did pretty much the same finish except that I did add a different ribbon here on the front and I used a different fabric. This one has a little polka dot. This one has little stars on it. And it's the same one as the one of the little sandbags that I did on both. And then I did this little rope which goes up and down all the way around it. This is the back. And then of course in the front I did do a bunch of the little banners, as you can see there, all the way around on this one. Okay, and I put the same doily on the inside here and I put shredded paper and then I've got a little doily up at the top to kind of finish that. You don't have to have that because of course if there was like a real hot air balloon it would be open or you know the flame that shoots up through here, the, uh, the what is it they use? Helium or whatever could escape up to the top. Anyway so then this one's also got some little curling ribbons hanging down where the you know, the fire is shooting up the, into the helium or whatever it is that they use for these balloons to go up into the air. But there you go. Now, now the package that I had had three lanterns, the 16 inch, the 12 inch, and it had a 10 inch. And I decided to do that one a little different. So that's why it's also taking me all day. And I actually started last night uh, because I wanted to show you something different, uh, which I want to say that I did see these ideas on Pinterest. I just changed them up a little bit for myself uh, so that I could do something a little different. But they're all 
they're all using basically the same paper lantern. They're using some sort of a box or a little basket or some sort of a, any kind of container really. And some are using a little mason jar. I didn't have a mason jar, but I did have this other little jar here. Now look at that. I put it on a jar. So what I just I glue the sticks down at the bottom here. The one that I saw, the sticks were glued onto the lid part here. And then there was a little candle up on the top here. I don't recall what it was filled with. But uh, my little jar, I put little rope on the bottom here. Little bows. And I made it very simple where they crisscross. You know, the little strings up at the here. And I only put this little, little banner kind of uh, hanging here in the front. Of course... You can do that in the back as well, but I've only done it in the front. And then this, of course, I can reach in and remove the lid. And what I want to do with this is I want to fill it up with some little crystals. And I have the little crystals right here. And I've got a little battery-operated tea light. Now, the one I saw had the little tea light up on the top here. And I think she painted the jars with some acrylic paint. Okay, so I'm just going to pour those in, and I'm going to reach in there and nestle this little, wait, let me turn it on first, let me turn it on first, there we go, and let me tell you, I searched through everything I have to find one that lit up, this wouldn't lit up, but then I found a red one that did, so I switched the batteries, and that was an ordeal because that other one had a little screw, so I took, it was real tight in there, and I had to unscrew it. And I didn't know if the battery was going to work on this other one, but it did. So let's throw those in. There we go. That looks so pretty. And then I have these uh, pit bits of uh, these little wire garlands that come all rolled up. I don't know why I have these little pieces, little white stars on them. Uh, but I took a, like two or three pieces and I kind of curled them a little bit. And I'm just going to toss them in there. You could put some uh, shredded paper in there. You could paint them. Put the little candle up on the top. Or not, don't put a candle at all. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, having to go and having to turn it on. But there we go. I'm just going to close this up. And just carefully lift it up so you can see the little candle in there flickering. Can you see that? Okay, well, I'm going to pan the camera around them so that you can see them a little bit closer. All right, everyone, that concludes my project number five for my baby shower series. And I have created here some hot air balloon centerpieces. I hope that you like the idea that you give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I already know my husband and my son have given me each a big old thumbs up. And they're very proud of me for the work that I'm doing. And I'm very proud of myself. Um, this is a lot of work, let me tell you. But it is very rewarding it is beautiful in the end i think uh, if you create these they will look beautiful whatever occasion there are they don't have to be for a baby shower now i'm doing the star theme and that's why you see little stars on my hot air balloons uh although i didn't really think they went with the uh, the whole theme but then i thought yeah why not because it'll take you up into the sky and of course in the sky are all the stars <laughs> if that makes any sense for any of you it does for me i really wanted to do this even though it didn't really go with my theme, uh, but I'm very happy with it. So there you go. Three different hot air balloons right here. Well, actually, these two are pretty similar, but there you go. Okay, so leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you think, if you're going to do something similar, uh, if you like the idea. I think I'm going to put a little bow right here. I forgot to put something right here, uh, but that's it. That's it. Okay, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, I have videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And of course, it's like I said, this February was going to be all baby shower. So I'm going to continue uh, Friday as well. And I may have a couple more uh, the beginning of the week of March because the baby shower is May the 9th. So this all has to be done. And I've been doing a whole bunch of other stuff that has not been for videos. And I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to share that. But I'm just really tired. <laughs> I'm worn out. This weather is affecting me kind of in a very bad way because it gets cold and then it's suddenly hot again and it's cold and, and this is a sudden change of weather. I know you don't care about that, but that's it's not a very good excuse, but that's my reason for being really tired. Anyway, um, that's why I have not videotaped every little thing I'm doing. Now, uh, tomorrow I plan on uh, getting some candy making items and uh, that's 
probably what's going to go into this little container right here. So I might have a video for Friday. If not, I'm going to have a wreath for the front door for Friday. Uh, but other, either way, uh, that video for the candy that I'm going to do um, will be a video. And it's either this Friday or Tuesday or the Friday after that. Okay, that's all I have to say. Thank you all very much again for subscribing. Subscribe if you haven't. And share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.